Howdy, howdy, everybody. Howdy, humans. Hope you're all having a good day today. Uh, I had a lot of fun last night after stream. <laughs> I just, uh, I just played some Hell Divers with the guys, and I just had a, I just had a really, really good time. It, it was just a good time. God, I wish I could stream Hell Divers on this channel. I really wish I could stream Hell Divers like on my channel. Just the issue is, you know. Fucking technical limitations because Hell Divers isn't super optimized for PC. Also, just it well, it, it wasn't a stream that did like particularly well, and I just kind of have to like cope with it. <laughs> uh, oh well, it is what it is. Hmm. Honest to God, I had such a blast uh, last night that I, the only thing I'm thinking about is just how much I want to go back on and. Like, we're so, we're so close to, like, doing, like, the major order. Like, actually, and everyone thought it was impossible, but, like, we ought to liberate, like, two planets. Like, it, feel, it feels possible. I want to contribute to the war effort. But I'm a, I must be an attorney instead. It's okay, though. I'm, I've am i been looking forward to the Ace Attorney stream a lot uh, today, so. This is gonna be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this case concluded. Hmm. I would say this is probably the stream of mine I look forward to the most every week. My Wednesday stream. Just because, you know, it's Wednesday. I didn't have anything going in the morning. I got to sleep in. Um, to just relax for a good bit. And just get to come in. Some good little Ace Attorney. And it's a good time. Anyways, let's go ahead and actually get into that uh, good time. Right now. Hitting button now. Button has been hit. <laughs> there's not there's nothing on the screen right now. Because I minimized uh my modded or my modded DS. It is very real. Very everything. Alrighty. Time to get the voices ready. Time to get the old vocal cords warmed up, stretched, massaged. I was gonna make a joke about fucking shoving my hand in my mouth to do that, but eh, I don't know. I I I don't feel like that. I got some I got some cream soda, Zevia in my hand right now. I I kind of would rather. Oh, well, I don't know. We're too we're way past the joke at this point. I should have just done it. <laughs> what can I say, man? I I'm chill. I'm chill today. Chill. I'm in a good mood. And thus, I am not thinking as much on my toes as I should be. That'll get fixed with time, though. Believe me. <laughs> if I can't get permission to investigate the crime scene, then the truth will be lost. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hey? Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing spacing out? Have you forgotten? There's only one thing you should do at a time like this. And what is that? When the people are in a bind, the hero just disappears to save the day. Look, you just leave it to me. For I am Kay Faraday, the second of the great Yadagarasu. I thought you were a thief, not a hero. The Yadagarasu is noble and is always a thief of justice. That's, of course. If we have enough information, I can recreate the inside of the haunted house with this. Plus, if we then factor in everyone's testimony, can recreate exactly what happened when I dropped off the ransom money. Maybe able to figure out some new information through this. It's worth a try. Agent Lang. Ah, so you want to use your little toy? Be my guest. Okay, hang on. You're all about to witness the true power of a real modern day Robin Hood. Detective Gumshoe. It's our copy of the haunted house blueprint amongst amongst the among madam among, 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 nobody's even redeemed this combobulate yet, and I already can't speak. Is our copy of the haunted house's blueprint among the police's refer reference documents? Yes, sir. We just got it in case we need it for the kidnapping case. Alright, I'll input the haunted house data then. <laughs> what is this? Where are we? It's it's like when Oh wait, no, it's lions. It's it's like we're inside the haunted house. 
And if we can't inspect the relocation itself, part of the truth slumbers here. I can successfully navigate my way using logic, I'll ultimately arrive at the truth. Now then, I believe I'm ready to investigate the crime scene. Okay, what should I recreate first? Haven't figured it out yet? <laughs> maybe I have and maybe I haven't. I'm going to make you do all the hard work. Very well, I'd like to inspect the moment in which I was ambushed by my abductor. Two of them were definitely in this place at the time. If I can verify that, I may be... It may provide me with a new lead. I had just come out of the hallway after leaving money inside the dining room. At that time, I saw a badger slumped over on the floor at the end of the hall. Eh? What was a badger doing all the way down there? I also thought it strange. However, I thought that maybe it was simply a mannequin that was set there for atmosphere. Do you know which badger it was? No, it was too dark to tell. All I saw was its silhouette. Hmm, in that case, I'll just program a badger silhouette in for now. Okay, programming complete. <laughs> He's out here being fucking hacker, man. Hacker Garatsu. Then I started walking towards the exit. And that's when you were struck from behind, right? Yes. But that's odd. The hallway is a dead end. Where did your assailant come from? There's only one location I can think of. I believe my assailant was lying in wait here. Oh man, I wonder how we, how we could ever come to this conclusion at any point in time. God, Edgeworth is so smart. The doll I saw wasn't really a doll, it was in fact a costume kidnapper. Oh, so he used the costume as the perfect camouflage to blend in with the rest of the house. Precisely. He waited until I had made the drop off and was about to leave. Then, just as he saw me take a step towards the exit, he stood and launched his attack. I can think of no better hiding place than this. Hey, not bad. I'm beginning to think I should steal this tactic for myself. Just don't use it to do anything criminal, okay? From the side, he looks like a chow. Like, he lo like it looks distinctively like a chow head. Well, Lance? What? What are you asking me for? As one of the kidnappers, I figured I should give you the chance to confess first. I was one of the kidnappers, but, but I, I don't know anything. I did come up to the haunted house, but I never set foot inside. I left Oliver in charge of picking up the ransom money. And set foot inside? Is he telling the truth, or is this another lie? Alright, then you're claiming that it was Mr. Deacon who assaulted me. Yes, I'm sure it was him. My hair flaps in the wind <laughs> as soon as I disappear. As I disappear from this reality. Whoosh! Oh, whoosh! Oh, hold on. Whoosh! There we go. <laughs> there were three there were three layers to that joke I needed to get through. Uh I think that I think that's everything. Come on, only one way only one way to verify. There's only one way for me to verify. One, two, all right, yeah, we're good. What were the other things? Now I need to know. So one is tits, one is veto tube, the other is my model. I have to click three fucking times. Lovely. <laughs> Hi, CC, you totally didn't want, you, you missed like the most perfectly well executed joke in existence. I didn't flub it at all. There was no technical difficulty whatsoever. Absolutely none. None. It went smoothly. I'm so fucking smart. Smarter than Edgeworth. Clearly. Anyways, I hope you're having a good day, buddy. <laughs> hope things have been well for ya. Okay, inputting the new info now. Mr. Deacon was the Bad Badger, right? Since the Bad Badger has a gun attached to its right hand, I'll have to change it so the weapon is in its left hand. To verify the facts of this recreation. Gotta figure out the homework about a W-2 just doing journal entries, but still. Like the tax form? 
intrigued. Well, you are you are an accountant, so that make, you are studying accounting, so that makes sense. Ah, hope the journal entries go well, though. Didn't recreate the weapon. Well, I can't exactly recreate something I know nothing about. So tell me, what were you? So tell me, what were you hit with? That came from behind, so I have no idea. But I doubt it was someone's bare hands. Um, okay, then where were you hit? I was hit on the right side of my head, just above my temple. It's a bit of blood, but it wasn't anything serious. Ouch! Sounds painful. Why are you smirking like that when you say it? It's just your imagination. Now let's see. I wonder if there's anything in the hallway that could have been used as a weapon. I'm looking for something the culprit could have used to hit you with. If I can fucking... Not that. That's not what I wanted to click on. There we go. Not what I wanted to click on either. Take that. I have it. There was indeed one such object lying here in the hallway. A prop sword. Are you talking about this thing here? Yes, although we did find it at the kidnapper's hideout. Wait, yes! Possible that the culprit took it with him after using it on me. Leave no evidence behind, right? Hey, why you gotta smile at Dad getting hurt? I mean, who knows? Maybe she, maybe she's a little bit of a sadist. <laughs> Just don't kill him, it doesn't conflict with anything she said. Maybe. Right, though it may be worth, but though it may be worth a more thorough examination yet. Okay, so what tests do you want to run on this sword? Luminal detects blood. He did say it got a little bit of blood. Test it with luminal. Oprah was wearing a costume at the time, so a fingerprint analysis is useless. Let's run a luminal test. It's possible that some of my blood found its way onto this. Agent Lang may ask for your cooperation in this matter. Hmm, like I have a choice. Pina, all the lab boys. Understood. Except for a dab on the left side, it would appear that the blade is spotless. So it must have been the left side of the prop sword that hit you then, right? So if it was the left, and they're holding it... So if it was their left, and they're holding it in their left, they would have to, like, swing it. Like, y'all can't see it, but they would have to... They would have to do, like, a wind-up. But not, like, a forward whack. Because that's just impractical. It doesn't work very well. I mean, we're going to find out the person was right-handed. Don't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Can I save here? Yes. I can save here. I'll figure out exactly what they want me to do. Okay. Sorry, I had to look at something real quick. From the save point. Reduce that. It's a spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold. Broken prop sword. Yurika! I will never get tired of it. Finally, I found a clear contradiction of facts about this sword. Except for a bit on the left side, this prop sword is absolutely spotless. However, if the culprit had used his left hand, the blood would be on the opposite side. The opposite side? Huh? The culprit held the sword in his left hand, and the sword's right side would pick. I see, but the blood is on the left side of the sword, right? Which means that he used his right hand to hit you? Exactly. This prop sword has a large handguard attached to the hilt. It'd be impossible to hold it with two hands by wearing a costume with such big hands. Therefore, it couldn't be the left hand or both hands, it must have been the right. 
I'll change the data to reflect the right-handed swing. Not yet, Kay. There's no sense in changing anything yet. If you change the parameters to the right hand, it'd only create a new contradiction. Well, I do have eyes, last I checked. God fucking damn it, man. The gun! The gun! Gun! Let me point at gun! There is a gun! Gun! <sighs> Try to break out the ba Bible. There, the Bible. We can't hold a sword in addition. Hey, that's right. Then what now? If it wasn't his left or right hand, means that the one who struck me could not have been the bad badger. Are you paying attention, lads? Perk. Mr. Deacon could not have been the one who struck me, which leaves only you as our primary suspect. Hmm, <laughs> fine, it was me. I hit you. It appears that you lied to me yet again, but see how quickly they catch up to you, Lance. Wait, isn't Lance left-handed? Ah, yes, but that's what makes this deception all the more interesting. Use his right hand to make it look like Mr. Deacon had been the one to strike me. But you see, firing a gun with one's non-dominant hand is difficult. That level of dexterity isn't required to sing a prop sword. <laughs> hey, please input the zoom data. The one who hit me from behind was Lance. Or should I say, the Proto Badger. You got it! Here I go! And we have a faithful recreation of the situation around the attack on me. All right, all we have to do is examine this new recreation and... <laughs> and what exactly is so funny, Agent Lang? Uh, that amusing little gadget sure packs a punch, right, Sheena? Yes, it was all I could do to hold my laughter in. Hey, don't make fun of little thief, you mean old werewolf. He and Mr. Edgeworth bring out the best in each other. You've had your little fun, but now it's my turn. I've sat quietly by, listening. But the crude conclusions you two keep spewing don't whet this wolf's appetite. Exclamation point. There's no guarantee that your toy will always show the real situation at any given time. All it displays is whatever information you put in there, right? Well, when you put it that way, your suppositions are wrong. It's not your fault, so I'm going to let you in on this. There's a trick to this haunted house. What may that be, exactly? A trick beyond what your tiny imaginations can produce. Sheena! Oh lord, he called himself a wolf. He's been calling himself a wolf! He's been doing it since the start! <laughs> he said wolves, like, flock together or some shit. Now then, what you missed, girly? I, uh, didn't catch that till now. <laughs> I'm not sure if you were around during that part of the stream. I forgot. It's written right here in this pamphlet. Seven Wonders of the Haunted House, The Disappearing Badger. W what is this? I'd say that someone around here is fond of theatrics. And as you can see, they set a doll down at the end of this hallway for that purpose. Basically, the blue badger you saw was just a stupid doll. How can this be? Guess that throws your old theory about it being your attacker right out the window. Mm -hmm. But that can't be right. Maybe the culprit hid the doll somewhere. And then he lay down and pretended to be it, it said. If the criminal couldn't even hide himself in the hallway, how could he hide a giant doll? Hmm. Do you get it now? Thanks to your presumptions, your logic start off weak and led you to the completely wrong conclusion. Yeah. Now get off your high horse. Mr. Edgeworth. Hey, I wonder if you could please input the new information for me. You don't know when to quit, do you? I can't quit, not until I can declare that I've found the truth. Agent Lang, for the additional information, you have my thanks. <sighs> there you go again. We'll see if I care. Okay, I'm updating the recreation now.
God, that fucking Proto Badger. That looks really weird. Look at how it changes from the Blue Badger into the Proto Badger all of a sudden. That's right, Edgeworth. Find the truth and don't let Kay be discouraged either. He's got to be a good dad. The stomach of a badger was just a doll. Why was my attacker hiding? Well, that's what we're going to find out, right? So l come on, Mr. Edgeworth, let's go. Yes, let's. This recreation can't be right, which must means there be, which means there must be a contradiction somewhere. I'm trying to remember why I can't be the uh, why I can't be the blue badger. So one half it was with Meekins. The other probably like that's what's getting me, keeping track of all the different badgers and costumes and shit. That's where my head's just scrambled. So Meekins had that. Um trying to remember the timeline of events. It's been a week, man. I was already confused last week. So Meekins has the Blue Badger costume. And, um... Fucking Lollipop Girl... Had the, uh... Had an, the other Blue Badger costume. She was out and about. And was at... The area... Gun... I think I remember everything now. I don't think there's a contradiction here. It must lie within the badger. When you take a look around, it almost feels more like a house of mirrors. Indeed, whoever heard of this has... Who has ever heard of this many mirrors inside a haunted house before? Well, at least we know this is a real crime scene thanks to these mirror shards. <laughs> Hey, wait, these shards, there's something different about them. Ooh. The ones we found earlier are thicker than the shards from these mirrors on the wall. And look, there's some sort of design on the back, too. This is from that costume that's certainly different than the other mirrors. What does this mean? Could it be that our pieces are not pieces of these mirrors? Rest until I just investigate every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Examine it. The blue badger is just a doll for use in this haunted house. I bet the one who killed this blue badger was the bad badger, right? According to the blue badger bible, it says that they are at each other's worst enemy. Well, because one's an ally of justice and the other's a vile criminal with a gun! Perhaps they were just destined to battle each other. Much like the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Can't investigate much else. This is where the Proto Badger shows up in our recreation. Yes, now the question is where did he come from? Yeah, but there's no place to hide in our current model. Must be an inconsistency somewhere. Let me look at those other mirror shards. Different from the mirrors on the walls, very thick and has a black and has a design on the back. Pieces of a set of armor in a pile here. Why do you think they almost have always have sets of armor inside haunted houses? Suppose this sort of interior design is meant to bring out a sense of abnormalcy. Why do all your explanations have to be so hard to understand, Mr. Edgeworth? I try explaining again, but this time so that even a thief like me can get it. That may prove to be most a difficult task. Could he have just not have climbed out through the window? I don't think that's a real window. I can go look at it real quick if it'll let me. Nah, it just, it just, yeah. Granted, I think the issue with that is we would have heard someone going through the window, assuming it is real. I don't think it is real. Well, 
What about our logic? Do we have anything in our logic? We just have the mirror shards. Roto Badger struck me. I suppose I should really say that it is Lance. Who? Are you gonna get him back? I need not resort to violence when the lawsuit I plan to bring the court will suffice. Really? Because I would have totally decked him right back. If someone steals from me, I steal something from them. I get hit, I hit them back. If I get paid, I return the money. That's a secret to how a great thief works. The third statement doesn't seem to be much of a benefit to her survival. Maybe he sends you to lawyer school like his father did. No. Uh, what if I examine myself? It's a replica of myself. You were totally oblivious to what was behind you, huh? Yes, I suppose I am also to blame for what happened to me. It was incredibly dark, which was all the more reason I should have been more alert. Now to never be caught by surprise again. I bet that's foreshadowing. Let me look at this. Wonders the disappearing badger. Maybe try talking to Lance? Lie all you want, but it will all be for naught, Lance. As soon as I expose the truth, you will be placed under arrest. Well, how can you do this? After all that my dad has done for you! What your father has done to me is unrelated to the charges you face now. Hmm? <laughs> Unbelievable! You know, you sound kind of like a bully right now, Mr. Edward. If I'm not serious about this, he will never understand the true gravity of his crime. I will not allow him to remain a child forever. Haha, <laughs> now you sound like a dad. So, have you noticed anything worthwhile? I have no obligation to talk with you. Well, I'm fine with just Little Thief solving this case. A toy. It's very well made. Haha, <laughs> that's because it's the heart of the noble thief, Yadagarasu. Okay, that may not be something you want to advertise to everyone. Hmm. So, Shina, what is... So, Shina, what exactly is the source of this extra-dimensional like space? Oh wait, no, that's only talking. I believe this is nothing more than a projection from that girl's sword. So it's all an illusion, right? Yes. Hey, don't treat this like some sort of silly light show. I don't think talking to them is going to get us anywhere. Very thick and has design on the back. Mirror, I already looked at the mirror. That's how we uh that's how our uh, mirror shards got updated. Clearly you have to connect the mirror shards to something, but I don't see how it can be connected to the badger yet. I don't see anything in my evidence that disproves that badger being there. Sorry, I fucking... There we go. There we go. Our 
crack? There's no cracks on any of the uh, mirrors. None there, none there. I guess I can try talking to him. Miles, my boy! What is the meaning of all this? You plan to pay me back for all I've done with you with the conviction of my son? I have not forgotten my debt to you. However, your son's crimes are a separate manner. Further, I can't ignore the truth that is right before me. <laughs> you will regret this! I promise you that! Matter the outcome, I will never regret the choices I make. Yeah, there is... This is amounting to nothing. <sighs> There's worse than a main because ones battled each other. So confuzzled. That's your photo rally. Wait a minute. There's only one of each badger in the park. Hold on, I want to save for this. That's something. It's potentially something. Two of each, I thought? No, it says one of each. For the photo rally, it says one of each. So only one of, like, there's two costumes. There's two costumes each, but there's only one of each in the park. So if the blue badger is chilling here, then that contradicts what the blue badger is supposed to be out and about. I'm gonna look through the rest of my evidence. Bad badger's head. Stolen costumes. We're establishing that this is a doll. Love letter. Oprah hit me right in the temple area with this. Sig model gun. Wings. Oliver used to think it was originally stolen from guard by victim during escape. Alright. I'm gonna go with my badger. Hypothesis. Eureka! Holy shit, was I right? Yo! Let's fucking go! Oh! Oh! I'm smart! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Oh, I didn't, I would not have thought. I would not have been able to put that together at any point that that pays events would actually be relevant. 200 IQ, exactly. The way the belt is on him is opposite of how it should be. Did you make a mistake? I can't be, I inputted the image exactly as it is in the pamphlet. 
So then why is the blue badger dressed up in reverse? Never mind. Wasn't the thing you were thinking, but it worked. <laughs> Apparently. Well, at least now we can logic. I thought the mirror was, like, showing the badger. I thought that, I just didn't know how to, like, get it connected. I said reverse, maybe a mirror? Hey, do you remember something you said earlier? What? I said earlier about what? About how this building might as well have been made a house of mirrors. A house of mirrors? Oh, that would explain the reversed or mirror image. Yes, this blue badger might be nothing more than a reflected image of a real one. Then was the blue badger you saw just a reflection? I looked down this hall, I thought it was perfectly straight. However, if there was a mirror... Oh, they would actually form an L-shape, right? Precisely. I was deceived by the hallway that was almost pitch black. There was a beam in the way that I instructed my view of the other hallway. Wait, but why build a place like that? It sounds pretty pointless to me. Hey, this house is just another attraction at the amusement park. To create a mirror wall for a very specific purpose, one I can point out to you. This was the reason they built a mirror wall. The disappearing badger! Behold! As it's written in the pamphlet, the main draw of this attraction is the mystery of the disappearing badger. You mean they built the mirror for that trick alone? But you said you saw the badger, so it was definitely still there. That was true at the time. However, doing this allows someone to make the blue badger disappear in a flash. Move the blue badger. All they would have to do is move the blue badger. Do you think someone could really do that? Well, it's a rather expensive prop, so perhaps it isn't possible. Um, doesn't that kind of ruin the whole point of having a mirror in the first place? I suppose it does. Mr. Edgeworth, come on, you can do better than this. Alright, once more. Doing this allows someone to make the blue badger disappear in a flash. Move the mirror wall. To remove a reflected image, simply move the mirror. First, the mirror was constructed so that it could be moved. Then beyond where the mirror was, an empty hallway had to be created. Oh, so when they wanted people to see the blue badger, they would open the mirror. When they wanted to hide it, they simply had to close it again. It explains why the other side of these fragments have a design on them. Ah, and if the pattern is the same as the other walls in this hallway, when the mirrors close, it would blend in with the rest of the walls. This is the mirror trick that this haunted house employs. This also proves the existence of a hiding place for the culprit. Huh? How so? Think about it, Kay. There was a place that was outside my field of vision. The culprit kept out of sight by hiding here. Take that! It's a very large blind spot, that one. One I could not see beyond, and it was here. My assailant hit on the other side of the movable mirror. And you wouldn't be able to see him. You didn't even need to do anything to the blue badger doll. Exactly. All he had to do was wait for me on the other side of the mirror. Wait, hold on. I just thought of something. Yes? Well, shouldn't the mirror wall be broken right now in reality? Hmm, since we have a few shots of it, we can probably assume it is. Yes, it most definitely is broken. The question is, when was it broken? Since we found these inside the victim's costume. I mean that the victim was there when the mirror was broken. Wait, that sound. Leave the money and go, now. The sound I heard was most definitely the sound of a mirror breaking. Okay, I'd like you to input some new information. Don't scare me like that. Sorry, but I need you to recreate something for me. Sure, whatever you need. So, what do you need, anyway? If you could first recreate this hallway just before I entered the dining room. You got it! <sighs> now 
this, I believe. This is how it was, right before I entered the dining room. At the time, I thought it was but a single straight hallway. And then, I went inside. It was around then that I heard the sound of a mirror shattering. You heard what? Then... Yes, I believe it was then that the mirror was broken. Okay, so when you stepped outside into the hallway again... The mirror wall should no longer exist. Okay, please recreate that. Got it! Wait, but with the mirror gone, the culprit lost his hiding spot. So where did he go in his proto-badger suit, Mr. Edgeworth? Huh, that's easy enough. With the mirror gone, he simply hid himself in the branch hallway. Hmm, I think this about wraps it up. God, the proto-badger freaks me the fuck out. Looks like we finally solved everything. No, not yet, and even larger contradiction has now reared its head. Huh? Perhaps you did not notice. This recreation contains a very troubling inconsistency. Consistency between what I saw and the recreation lies. Take that. Okay, take a good look at the end of the hole. Oh, there's no blue badger there. Exactly, the blue badger that I saw in reality is not here. It's the final point on this long chain of logic. The last remaining contradiction. So let me get this straight. When you came out of the dining room, you saw a badger, right? And that is precisely where the final contradiction lies. Something that shouldn't exist was there before me. Who or what do you suppose it was? I believe this is the real identity of our mystery badger. Do we want it to be the bad badger? If so, which am I which am I picking? Please work. God damn it. I'm not getting weird on you, Kay. I'm just getting ace attorneyed again. Uh, I just want to say Deacon. Deacon, Bad Badger, however you want to phrase it. <laughs> I just got to know how they want me to say it. There we go. The badger I saw was in actuality the dead victim's body. <laughs> what? It should lang the entirety of my complete logic is my final decisive piece of evidence. The murder happened in the hallway of the haunted house at the time of the drop off. You can consider the moment I heard the mirror breaking to be the real time of death for Mr. Deacon. No. Maybe it was due to their fighting, or perhaps it was the life-shattering bullet. But no matter what the cause was, the hallway mirror was broken. Ha! You were in the house at the time, right? Are you telling me that you missed the sound of a gunshot? There were a variety of sound effects playing at the time. All for theatrics, I assume. The gunshot must have blended right in. Eh, that's dumb. That's really dumb. Now then, I'd like you to recall something for me. Who was it that was with the victim at the haunted house? Eh? Who was the one who had the opportunity to rob the victim of his gun and use it on him? Eh? It was you, Lance Amano! What a baby. I'm sorry! It 
It's not like I had a choice. All of it turned on me all of a sudden. You snapped and turned violent right after I hang up with you. You shoved me to the ground and straddled me. I fought back as hard as I could, grabbed his gun, and I shot him. The ball must have went through his body and shattered the mirror. If I had taken his gun and shot him first, I would have been the one you found. He's a hardened criminal. He escaped from jail. Lance confirms strong as Blackwell, apparently. Unless they're just really shitty handcuffs. See? That's justified self-defense. My boy! My boy was only trying to protect himself! It remains to be seen and will have to be resolved in court. Agent Lang, I leave the rest to you. Heh. <laughs> as if you were the one in charge around here. Guys, arrest these two and get them out of my sight. Wait! I had nothing to do with the murder! The only person you should be arresting is Lance! The dad! <laughs> He fucking dies! <laughs> Our fucker immediately collapsed. That's great. Sorry, but you're not slipping away that easily, Mr. Ernest Amano. You tampered with the evidence so that you could cover your son. What a great dad you are, willing to risk it all. Truly touching. <laughs> By the way, do you know why I'm really here? And could I possibly know the answer to such an asinine question? You you wooed me. I came all the way from across the sea just to see you, you know. You came to see me? What's that supposed to mean? I have a few things to ask you, Mr. Mono, about a case from ten years ago. A case from ten years ago? Oh, uh, what's the name that you use here for that case? Gina! It's known as the KG-8 incident. Exclamation point! KG-8 incident? Oh, so you remember it. Good. Then you'll recall that the trigger in that case was the Amano Group scandal. Specifically, the charge as in the charge of an internal smuggling ring. Smuggling? How's that word again? At the time, the person that was arrested as the ringleader was Mr. Amano's very own secretary, Mr. Colin DeVore. Ah, oh, father. Even though you pushed the crime onto your then secretary, Mr. DeVore, I always suspected you were involved with the smuggling ring, Mr. Amano, as DeVore was arrested in place of you. Which is why when he broke out, you hid him from the police, right? You hid him in exchange for his silence on your little dirty secret. Now, 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 now. Please calm down. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Heh, <laughs> pretend to be ignorant all you want. We're taking you down to the precinct anyway for a nice long chat. Dot, 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 dot. What the? Who the heck was that? I'll take him down to the precinct, if you don't mind. And who the heck are you? Oh, it's... Fuck, I forgot the voice... I, I forgot the voice we gave him. Fuck. I'm Jack Portsman. And I'm... <laughs> Portsman. <laughs> I'm Jack Sportsman. And I'm the prosecutor in charge of this case. Oh, Jacques! Thank goodness you're here. Don't jerk me around. This is an interval case, so keep your paws off my vice suspect. Sorry, but I can't comply. I've got the back end of the prosecutor's office. See, in this country, we prosecutors work with the police to bring cases to court. So if you could please cooperate with me here, that'd be great. Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Sorry, but I hate prosecutors. The whole lot of you. Guys, arrest the two suspects. Sir! Oh, I almost forgot. Genuinely didn't know he appeared here. I was surprised too, I thought we were past the... the fucking, um... I thought we were past the, um... flashback at this point. 
Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, is it? I'd like to thank you. Thank me? Yeah, for working so hard to fulfill my goal. Hey, is that any way to thank someone? What the heck is that supposed to mean? You were so relentless with Lance that you forced Ernest to tamper with the evidence. Thanks to that, I finally had a legitimate reason to arrest him. So how's it feel to bite the hand that feeds you? The hand that feeds me? I'm not sure I follow. Eh, <laughs> it's no use pretending with me. You're the one, right? You're the corrupt prosecutor that's working for Mr. Romano in the smuggling ring, right? No, I would never do such a thing. <laughs> what the heck? Our intel's never wrong. In your prosecutor's office, there's definitely someone working with the ring. Ah, oh, so Agent Lang suspected my relation to Mr. Omar. That must be the real reason behind his antagonistic attitude. On top of that, your mentor was Manfred von Karma, right? Exclamation point. There were non-stop rumors flying around about forged evidence with that guy. You're not twisting the truth behind those closed courtroom doors, are you? The courtroom is a place where the truth is revealed. Ha 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 ha! Well, don't worry, it's not only you. The whole lot of you can't be trusted. Prosecutor never lost in 40 years. Every defendant must be found guilty. Evil by those ideas, it's a wonder that courts produce nothing but falsities and lies. It would seem that his disdain extends beyond just me. Prosecutors, the courts? Why is this man so angry with us all? Rest assured, the next time we meet, I won't be so forgiving. So don't you forget it. Please wait. Agent Sheena. Why does Agent Lang hate all prosecutors, sir? Dot, 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 dot. Lang is the head of the long-honored house of Lang and Zhang Fa. The heads of all police-related divisions in that country were of Lang blood. Were? What do you mean by that? Aren't they still? They were revered, but that was long ago. They don't hold that sort of sway anymore. It was all because of the courts. How could that be? A court once withheld and tampered with the evidence of one of the Lang detectives found. That evidence's purity was tarnished and cost the Lang family its honor and trust. But not all prosecutors are like that. Dot 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 dot. And so Lang will never respect the court again. Or any prosecutor. So Agent Lang is a man who hates all courts and is unwilling to forgive prosecutors. Man, what a piece of work that guy is. Come on, Jim. We better catch up. Yeah. We've still got to deliver that thing to the old man, after all. <laughs> no, you know, you know, the 10 out, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 dialogue. 10 out of 10 dialogue from that character who had an entire sprite made out of him. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best character. Best character. Best character in the game. Favorite character. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Detective Gumshoe, I believe it's time we wrapped up and headed home ourselves. Yeah, are you going home too, Miss Sedgeworth? No, I've done nothing but be entangled in one mess after another since my return. But right with you, you can drop me off at my house. No problem, sir. Um, excuse me. Yes? What is it? Um, I... That is. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, it's okay. No need to thank me, pal. Just doing my job as a detective. I guess I was fooled pretty badly by Lance. Oh, cruel fate. What's a woman to do when she's been hurt by the one she loves? And to think I never realized my father was right there. I never said anything to him. I knew it. I'm... I'm a failure. Ah, uh, there she goes again talking to herself. This pops. I wonder if you know why your father participated in the kidnapping. No, I have no idea. Your father died while he was trying to stop Lance, which means that from the beginning he had no interest in the staged self-abduction. Wait, then why did he... I believe it was because of your presence, Miss Potts. Me? Lance realized that the two of you were related, which is why he used you as a hostage to coerce Mr. Dorori into cooperating. Father... As a felon, he could not tell you of his real relation to you. However, as the Amano family butler at the very least, he was able to watch over you. Which was all he could do. But that was the shape of his overflowing love for you. Hmm? 
Come on, speak your mind. I, 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 um, that is, thank you very much. You're welcome, although there is no need to thank Ah, uh, no, Lauren, stop. I mean, this man's so much older than you. And that day, another Edgeworth simp was born. <laughs> Looks like you've completely stolen her away, Mr. Edgeworth. Way to go, sir. Your technique is way beyond the level of a great thief. What are you going on about now? Wow, your deducing skills may be sound, but you have no street smarts. That's Mr. Edgeworth for ya. Yeah, I mean, he still hasn't figured out who I am at all. If you haven't remembered in all this time, I guess I'm just going to have to say it. This isn't the first time we've met, you know. Well, what do you mean, pal? Mr. Edgeworth? How do you know this girl? Hmm. Looks like you totally forgot about me too, Gummy. Gummy? Here, maybe this'll jog your memories. I promised I'd return this to you one day, remember? That's... A single piece of cloth took me back far into my past. That fateful day seven years ago. First met the then child K. Detective Gumshoe. That is Turnabout, the kidnapped Turnabout. Next is Turnabout Reminiscence. I, uh. Honestly, I don't really want to start. Like, I know this is a really short stream, but I really don't want to move on to, like, a new, like, turnabout in the middle of another one. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, so, honestly, I think I'm just going to end it here today. I know it's a super fucking short stream, but uh, th th there's a method. There's a, me there's a method to this madness. I like it to be nice, neat, and organized. What can I say? One hour, John. Shut the fuck up, Circuit. I'm turning on the music to tune you out. There we go. What do you think about that? Listen to those beats. Listen to those drums going on in the background. All right, let's see here. Who are we raiding? Uh, I know we raided him yesterday, but let's just go ahead and raid Lunar again. Cut mostly just because everyone else is either just not sh like the other person I would want to raid right now is doing a Spanish only stream, and I don't think. Well, okay. Wait, hold on. What language do they speak in Brazil? Is Brazilian its own language? I'm uncultured. Give me a sec. Portuguese. It's Portuguese in Brazil. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I I wasn't I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, okie dokie. So yeah, nobody here speaks Spanish, including me. I learned bit I learned French because it was fucking stupid. And I, Pokemon X and Y was coming out. That was why I chose it. How about Oro TV? Or we can do that. <laughs> or we can do Oro TV instead. <laughs> Let's search them up. Um CC, I search them up, but I don't see them wait did you mean to put in oro vt god damn it god damn it cc oh this person i know them i've seen them around i think uh i think um muse and grape know them i think don't quote me on this but all right, we'll raid. We'll raid that. God damn it, CCC! This is really how we're going to end the stream. Okay. 
This is what, what, what we're do doing now. Okay, or VT. And then start our dart the raid. Anyways. Tomorrow we'll be, be editing a channel the trailer. It'll be it'll be a longer stream than the stream today. So hopefully y'all can make it. I know Thursdays are kind of weird for people. So yeah. Y'all have a good, good day, night, afternoon, whatever you are, and whatever the, the fuck you're doing, and y'all have a good one.